Let's go. Can we go just have yeah, a seat over there and we take a deep breath and make uh... <laughs> I love your camera. <laughs> So based on what we were talking about, an exercise I was thinking about is called the Eden Square. And it's actually in the official Regala book. And what you do is you construct rectangular areas on in the arena. So you put the horse inside each one. And then you walk around while the horse stays there. And you are communicating with the horse your presence, inviting the horse to stay there. And each square represents a feeling, and since you mentioned the feeling 50 minutes ago, um, it's funny because I, I thought of that exercise before you talked about the feeling for the minute too. Now we don't have to do that, we can do other things too. Would you like to continue uh, when we can do that exercise and go to the warm up and get our feet up centered and motion ready and stretch and you know, release a little bit and then continue with what we've been doing, which is connecting with the horses as far as some uh, understanding and experiencing natural horses. Right. Because I believe that's kind of where our focus has been the last few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. and Leo walks around you. Also, we could change it to that. No, the exercise is not that you stay inside and Leo walks around you. Also, we could change it to that. Okay, so you have to build all three together. Do you want to walk in my, my general direction? And then let, insist a little. Come on. First, okay. And he forgets how big he is, so he he thinks he's still a, a, a colt. Uh, maybe walk towards Leah, run, and keep moving, keep moving. There you go. Come on. Soon enough, Shiloh. Soon enough. Good. That's a good trick. That's a good trick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Good, good. Keep moving, keep moving. Beautiful run. Yeah. Yeah, he's an incredibly intelligent horse and I've learned that less is more, like, you know, when you do something and he doesn't respond, the national communication is to signal stronger and with him it has the opposite effect. Beautiful, nice open hand. You guys look like you're dancing. Okay. Look at that gate. Almost a pram. Very dainty, like the head, the fingers, the front closer. Okay, so when you guys are ready, just park him in one of the squares, whichever one you want to start in. Very nice. So what Quinn's doing is he's moving the minis so we can go into one of the um, stalls that has a lot of shade. We can brush them in the shade then and then do some more natural horsemanship exercises. So let's do you guys can walk around with him or hang out with him. He did a very good job. And the stupid fly in his face. A horse can feel a fly on its skin and fly on its body. I see them sometimes a little bit lightly. The skin will just twitch that part of their skin. Oh look at the leaning tower of hay. <laughs> that we've been talking about, and we do treat them with respect, and we know what's to be expected here. And like Brian says, if a horse comes in, it would be, uh, you know, like Brandy and Shasta in the last couple of years. I was very mindful for a long time until I got to know them, uh, and they got to know me of whether I do stuff like this. And then, like Brian said, they always get signs that they're upset with you being back there. And if you get rigid, you may back up on you, and that tail starts going, the ears get pinned. But otherwise, but uh, while we're brushing, maybe we can talk about what the experience was like for you putting him in the feeling squares and you can share what feelings it were or how the different squares worked for you, what you noticed if there were any differences in how he acted or if it was easier or harder. Well, uh, I gotta say, to tell you the absolute truth, that all three times. My, my mind is pretty much blank. Mm -hmm. uh, I just allowed myself to, that's what I do when I'm with them. I just let my mind be blank. So, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about anything at all. Right? But, it seemed successful. Obviously. And, I mean, it, it felt good. It always feels good. Do you think when your mind is blank that your feelings are blank? That I, I just because I know I mean for me a blank mind is a really blissful state because my mind's always going 100 miles a minute. Um, I just take everything. Uh, I just take everything out of my mind. Right in there. Yeah, in the moment, 100%. Yeah. I'm being, if I'm doing anything with my mind or emotions, I'm being sensitive to it. See, like even now, I need mm -hmm. Which is, I, I imagine exactly what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Well, and exactly, you know, the a little bit that, that isn't just a hypothesis. It's it's in factual reality here because he was very standard. And he could go over to the other horses because he is a herd uh, member and the horses is who he spends the most of the time with. Even yeah, though I'm out here a lot, it's still still more time with horses and then you all come once a month. You see that if I you're in this space. If I turn away from or uh, give my attention somewhere else it turns his head yes. towards and we need to just heal and feel the, the love and the connection back of a relationship with another being 
like today, the horse will give. If you're aware of that and present that time with the horse for that, as healing time. But if you also want to work on communication, on relationship issues, being a little bit more empowered, that's where the horse will help us also. And then we work on the activities and things with the horse in that regard. So they can help us in those skills. Um, and then it does pass through our mind, of course, and we, we register it, but we can feel that connection, as you mentioned, too, just being in the outdoors. So physically you're engaged. So now all of a sudden you look and you say, wow, I've been engaged with a horse and can be engaged with a horse mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And I felt necessary to talk about that today because it's something I've kind of forgotten with the horse because we're always trying to work on things and get to goals right? and never quite sure what that is. Yeah. But if we come out and we're just aware of where our feelings are and where we're at, it's like you all have done here today, stay in that moment. That's and all right. you said, don't yeah. think about anything, don't go there, but then reflect a little bit before you leave. What did you feel? Where were you at? Did you feel relaxed? And, and then when you're later on, if you've left and the horse isn't there, you can come maybe back to your mind and say, I remember that space. Because I'm going to be doing that for myself. Because I came out really stressed today. From the very first session, uh, mainly what I've done is to be with the horse and try to get, to be, get into the horse's frame of reference and, mm -hmm. and move. So I had to share that too, horse, because I'm learning everything what it is for me to be with these horses and what is it that we're all sharing. And so, by talking about it, each of us takes away what we can from that day. If I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean. And if I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat. We would all together go out on the ocean, me upon my pony on my boat. And if I was Roy Rogers, I'd sure enough be single. I would not be last sold in to marry an old day. It'd just be me and Trigger. We'd go riding through them movies and we'd buy a boat. Oh, out on the sea, we'd say And if I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean And if I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat And we would all together go out on the ocean Me upon my pony on 